CJ from On The Grow here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about our NFT system, and more specifically, how other people within the community have taken this custom build and customized it to fit their own farm and their needs. So what I'm gonna be sharing is a video from Sean Haverty of Molly's Micro. He's a really great guy and really great people. Um, they've taken this system and they completely made it their own, and I was just really excited to see uh, other people taking this and just kind of running with it and throwing on little additions that I think are really beneficial, and then so I figured, uh, that would be beneficial to share. So I reached out to Sean and I asked if he would be able to kind of just do a quick walkthrough of his system and share the information. And he did a great job of doing that. So I'm really excited to share that. So before I share the video that Sean made with us, I wanna talk quickly about what we're gonna be doing with our NFT system. So this is actually coming down today. And I feel a little sad doing that because I really love this build, but what we realize is we don't grow commercially. Um, we, we started to, and we really enjoyed the process, but what we realized uh, through these past months of doing these YouTube videos and everything that we've done on social media is that we really enjoy the experiment aspect of this, even though it's not <laughs> nearly as profitable as actually selling the microgreens. Uh, but we just need more space to experiment. So unfortunately this system's gotta go. What we're gonna be doing is I've got an extra one of these systems that I'm saving. This one for now though is being torn down and we're gonna be selling this uh, to somebody who's very interested in it so that it can have more life somewhere else. So we're excited about that. And what we're gonna be doing is actually replacing this with a, a rack that we're gonna be having different lighting setups on so that we could test out like blue spectrum light versus red spectrum light versus mixed spectrum versus full spectrum and just uh, kind of do uh, more experiments around lighting and other things that we wanna experiment with. Also like heat mats and things like that because we're just getting a little crammed for space in here. We only have a 20 foot concession trailer it's only eight and a half feet wide, so we have a very limited amount of square footage that we can do things. And unfortunately, this thing takes up a ton of room. It's great if you're growing to sell to, you know, at farmer's markets or uh, to individuals or to restaurants or to wholesalers, but we just don't do a lot of that, uh, mainly because we do a lot of experiments and because we do a lot of experiments, our consistency is all over the place. Sometimes we have a lot of produce, sometimes we have a lot of fails. So it's kind of hard to run a business uh, whenever you're doing so many experiments, but it's what we enjoy doing. So before I ramble on for too much, check out this video from Sean. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. Thank you so much and keep on growing. Hey guys, Sean from Molly's Micros here. Uh, CJ from On The Grow Farm has wanted me to make a short video for you guys uh, to show you uh, some of the changes I did to the NFT system that he designed. Um, when I was trying to uh, research and make my design for the NFT system, I came across CJ's and I really liked how easy it was, how versatile it was, and um, how you can actually adapt it to your own workspace. So I uh, built a system, I, I did a couple changes to it, different layout than, than CJ did. So here's a, kind of an overview of the system. It's a little bit hard in here to take a good video. We've got a pretty small grow space. Um, but uh, so it's very similar to what CJ did. Um, what I did with though is because of height, Molly is actually only 10 years old. So I wanted to make sure that she could service the top rack. So I did actually uh, four channels by uh, four channels wide by three uh, high. So what I also did was I wanted to give enough space for um, bigger growers like peas and stuff like that. So I made the distance between the channels um, um, 18 inches to allow for that growth. So it's same kind of setup and it kind of shows you that you can build the frame and all kinds of different configurations to pay, you know, depending on what kind of space your needs are. Um, some of the things, there's a couple of things they added. So just like in CJ's, you know, pump comes out of the reservoir uh, and it takes a right hand turn to go down and feed the system up into these uh, feeder tubes. So that's, that's actually the same. Um, but I also wanted a way, because I have a 30 gallon reservoir, to actually empty it out. So what I did was I just teed it off here. So if you want to em uh, empty the reservoir, you close this valve and then you open up this one. And then that one, I'm actually lucky enough that I have a window nearby so I can actually just put that tube out the window and empty it out so you guys could do that you could you could empty it into buckets or 
you could actually go out, you know, go to the wall, go outside, whatever you wanted to do. So that was one thing that made it pretty easy. Um, another thing I added was, and this is pretty easy, but it's just a, um, it's a strainer. So it basically takes out any kind of particulates, seed hulls, uh, micros that get, you know, caught in the system. So that way there, it keeps my reservoir nice and clean. And it's actually just, a, I got it from the restaurant store. You can get it online. It's actually a bullion filter, it's called. But it's, a, it's got a super fine mesh. Works really well for this application. Um, taking a look at the framework, I also added um, supports in the middle. And I did this by adding uh, some three-way connectors, make, maker pipe connectors, so I could put a middle section in. I wasn't sure if over time if the channels were gonna bow in the middle, so I wanted to have that extra support. Uh, there's one other thing that I did. Um, this is really convenient. This um, monitoring device from Blue Lab, it's called Blue Lab Guardian. So I can easily um, see what the amount of the dissolved solids, the PPMs, the temperature, and the, um, the pH. And since I have so many, I have so many air stones in here and I actually have a, a small pump that's just doing nothing but circulating in there, you can actually make uh, changes on the fly and then you can look up and see the differences in there. So, so there are a couple of things I added. I just, just, you know, CJ wanted this to show you guys that, you know, the system, you can just build, build it the way you want it. It's, it's very easy. And if you go on CJ's Amazon page, you can get, you know, all the, uh, the stuff you need to order all on one site. So it's really convenient. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, found it uh, pretty useful. Uh, made you start, you know, kind of think of what you guys could do with this system. Um, if you guys want, you can, um, if you go on Facebook or Instagram at, Sean, at Molly's Micros, um, I can send you the, if you send me a message and, and like us, I'll send you the cut sheet so you guys can have all the fittings that you need and the, the pipe lengths to cut too. So, uh, thanks for watching guys and thanks for uh, CJ for designing the system. It's really, really an effective system. So. Have a good one.